everyone to our special smooth stream edition of Riftwing Designs Workout. Normally these are designs for Zen, but this is anything but Zen. And I am here as Riftwing Designs and also a fitness raccoon from Kipo. <laughs> and we are going to go crazy. So again, make sure you've got some water nearby. Get yourself maybe a towel, a strap, and a block and put on that playlist and we are going. So to start out with, you're gonna lay on your back and we're just gonna start to twist it out. So everyone lower down, get your tail out of the way, reach up and just do a big full body stretch. We're not gonna start with an intention, but if you wanna set one, go right ahead. And just start by taking your arms up and down. And maybe side to side. And you can use your legs too, maybe start to get some energy in those wonderful leg warmer legs. Maybe you can do a little bit of both. You wanna start feeling that movement. Maybe take a couple of twists, anything you need for the first minute or so, just get yourself nice and loose. And we are gonna start with our abs. So again, make sure you got yourself a good towel and you are ready to go. movements you need maybe wrists and ankles maybe do banana stretches so you stretch to one side taking your arms and legs over and then the other side mm. and we're gonna start by pulling your knees in give yourself a nice big hug feel yourself out and when you're ready we're gonna start off either in boat pose which is you can stay like this or you can start up here and love knot. And we're just gonna do some sit-ups. If you wanna do normal sit-ups, you can. If you wanna do your boat sit-ups, go right ahead. Start to crunch those abs. Get your core warmed up. Ugh. In whatever way you need to here. Huh. And remember, I can't see you, so do what you need here. And 10 more. And three, two, one. And plant your feet down. Start to feel your breathing. Oh, we're going to feel the burn today. Next thing we're going to do is legs up. So if you have your strap, maybe put it around your feet and we're going to do a big stretch here. Breathe into it. And keep those feet flat. And now you have the option here to do one leg or both legs. We're gonna take it, if you do one leg, hold one strap up and lower and raise that leg. To the beat of the music as it starts to pick up pace. And after you do about 10, you can switch to the other side. Don't, don't, don't follow me, follow the music. Unfortunately, I can't stream the music because then they'll block me, right? And if you want, instead of doing single legs, to really feel the burn, plant your hands down and lower those legs. Do sets of raising and lowering, holding your core steady. Breathing, feeling the burn as you get your core nice and warm. You wanna keep your feet straight, hold them together. And you can do a little lift at the top if you want. Just like in yoga, do what feels right for you. Three more. Two more. Last one, breathe here, feel the burn, let it down, really slow, really, really, really slow. Whew. All right, 
Shake it out. Maybe you got to do a little legs back and forth here. Take those knees in one more time. Give them a hug. Take your arms. Find yourself a way to flip on over. And we're going to be going onto all fours. Remember, if you need a cushion under your knees or under your hands and wrists, just start by doing a little cat cow to warm up your spine. Using that music to start to speed yourself up. Make sure your tail's not in the way. Breathing here. Maybe start to lift those forearms when you go forward. To the music. Feel the beat. Warm on up. Use your arms and legs. And three, two, and one. And now we're gonna go back to our tabletop here. We're gonna start doing our legs. Now you've gotten your core warmed up. Start by just kicking your legs forward and back to the beat. Breathing here. Kick back. Make sure that foot is placed plus nice and flat out as you go through each one. Do about 10 on each side. And switch. <laughs> the funny thing about this tail is it is super lightweight and so fluffy. And when you're done here, warm up your wrists a little by doing gentle circles, keeping your wrists down. Then go the other way. This time maybe turning your fingers inwards or outwards. Do a couple circles here. Feeling that music. Turn your wrist the other way. So now I'm facing both fingers are facing outwards like this. And then after you do a few circles that way, see if you can turn your wrist so your fingers are facing towards your body and very gently just feel if this is enough. And if it's too much, don't do it. But if it's enough, just feel it. You don't have to do circles here. Or maybe do a little bend, but you don't want to overextend your wrists here. Just enough. Feel it out. And once you've got your wrists and arms warmed up, shake them out. Just come up, give them a good shake. We start shaking to the music. And then back down. Lift in your legs again. First one and hold it here. Looking down, keeping your face so you're looking right in front of you. You're going to start doing those leg pumps. Lift and two and three and four and one and two and three to the music. Let's go up and down. Feel those buns. Work those glutes. Let's go. Let's go. Ten more. You got this. And wrap it up. Plant your foot back. Breathe. Hold. And switch. Lift up your leg and start to pump. You got this. Make sure you're looking down and lifting up those buns. To the music. And 10, nine, eight, keep going. You got this. And plant it down. 
Breathe, stretching here. And because this is Kipa, we gotta do Cougar next. Hands and knees, holding down here. To do it, you lift up, one foot out, one hand out, and you crunch to the music, pull it in, and kick it out. You got this. Squeeze them buns, work those glutes, let's go, let's go. 10 more. And you can always stop if you need to. Remembering to look down and breathe. And two, and one. All right, pause, do a stretch, and then switch sides. Here we go. To the music, the cougar. Feeling those abs. You got this. To the music, and 10 more. You should feel that burn starting. Those sweet calories, right? And two, and one. Come back to stillness. We're going into beast mode now. Ready? Tuck your toes. Holding down with your hands or on your fists, lifting your knees slightly. Beast mode. Hovering your knees on your toes, looking down, shoulders above wrists. Breathe and hold it. You got this. Keep going. Just float those knees. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 1. Let down. Child's pose. Breathe here. Feel those glutes. You should have no pain at all. And if you do, stop what you're doing. And if you don't, keep coming along. <sighs> all right, back up. And you know that Raccoon's favorite place is Cardio Corner. So we're gonna start by running in place. If you want, we can get up here by going through a little bit of hero pose. So take your toes, tuck them under, let's get some pain and gain. So you can stay up here in camel or you can lower it down. So you're sitting on your toes. It's also called broke toe pose. If it hurts too much, stop. But just feel that burn for one minute as you catch your breath. Keep holding. And if you're okay with it, once you're done, lean forward, untuck those toes, and tap your feet down. Nice work. Coming back down either to an easy seat or onto your knees. We'll just do a little bit more warm ups with our hands here up and down to the music. Breathe up, out, down, in, up, and out, down. Continue to breathe and feel that groove. Option here, forward and down or cat cows. We're gonna be using our arms and shoulders a lot as we go into cardio corner. Ready? Arms up. I hope you're feeling it. We're gonna stand up, going through, forward fold. Breathing, halfway lift and fold. Bend those knees, do some bends. Feel how it works. You've worked those legs. Let's go, let's go. Let the head drop, keep it loose and breathe for 10. Five, two, and one. Forward fold, let it all go. 
<laughs> you got this. <sighs> Happy lift. And fold. And now up. Get ready for cardio corner. Grab a drink if you need it. To start off with, start to feel the music. Whichever one it is, you got this. Start with your hands and your hips. Wiggle those hips, get them nice and loose. Maybe do circles with them or figure eights. Feel your body here. Keep those knees nice and bent. Remember, I can't see you. So shake that tail, show me what you got. Then hands and fists. Hold them like this, pump yourself. You got weights, pick up those weights. Got a weighted wrist, put on those weighted wrist cuffs. Let's do this. Feel the music. You got this. And just like we did in our on the floor, we're next gonna go into banana. So hands up to the side, each other side. You got this, keep going. To the music. And hands down, T pose it and run. You got this. Hold those arms up, feel the strength. Maybe palms up or maybe palms down. Keep running. You got this. Hands in. Clutch it in, keep running to the music. And now the most famous raccoon, ready? Dab it, keep running. You got this, other side. And of course, Naruto. Let's do it, <laughs> to the music. All right. And then hands out in front. Pull it in and push it out. You got those weights, you know what to do. Swing it over. Holding it in. Other side. And back up. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Bananas to the music. Feel it out. You got this. All right. T pose. Palms up or down. You got this. Just hold it. Come on. And then dab. You got this. Try what works for you. 
And if you want, put those arms where it feels good. Maybe cross. You got this. Do what works for you. And two, and one. Kick back. And if you want, you can even do a little hold here if you want, but don't bounce. <laughs> If you need a break, just do a little quad stretch. Or maybe try to keep your tail. Next is trash pickup. Over under on my mask falling off. You ready? Reach up. Reach down. Reach up. Keep those knees bent. You got this. One more. Up. And down. Other side. Exhaling when you go down. Inhaling as you go up. One more. All right, now we're going to alternate. Ready? Up and down. Other side. Up and down. I don't know how it works, so just make it work. I'm doing two ups and two downs. <laughs> this is awesome. Pick up that trash. You love it. Do what feels right for you. If you're not breathing hard now, find what you need to get that workout in. All right, you got this. Feel good. Let's go, up and down. Bend those knees, up. Pick up the trash and down. And up, you got weights, use them. And down, let's go, up. Bend those knees. 10 more, at your own pace, you got this. Feel those abs, feel those glutes, let's go, let's go. Three, two, and one. You got this. All right, shake it out to the music. Whew. Break time, if you need it, get a drink. You got this. <laughs> Jar and sleep well. All right. Whew. Next is the yoga part of yoga aerobics. We are so warm and loose. When you are warm, you can do crazy yoga stuff. We're not going to do too much crazy stuff, but we are going to do some. So if you know salutations, do what works for you. For example, down dog, you can lower your knees, kind of go up and back, down, walk forward, forward fold, halfway lift, fold all the way up, come down into a one side lunge, hold here, plant your feet, or plant your hands under your feet, step back, plank, Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, and you can do it on both sides. So up, woo, <laughs> step in, lunge, forward fold, halfway lift, and fold. Inhale all the way up, hands come down, other foot steps back, holding here. Or if you want to do your warrior ones, you can. Plant those hands, step back. We're gonna do five cycles. If you wanna try something different, you can do it with your knees down. Child's pose. Get up, walk forward, halfway lift, fold, come back up. We can do modified with the knee down here. And then plant, keeping the knees down, we're gonna go all the way down to Cobra. Lifting here, planting and then push back into child's pose. Keep doing what you're doing if you're on a different flow. Lift up, step forward, other side, fold. Halfway lift, fold. Then inhale all the way up. And from here we're gonna come down to that lunge with the knee down. There we go. 
Hold in here, shining your chest for a moment before putting both feet down and lowering all the way to baby cobra, lifting your chest for a moment, and then pushing back into your child's pose. Whatever flow you're doing, you've got two more. Find what works for you here. To the music. Let's go. You got this. And if you need a break, you take it. We got this. Remember to do both sides. Balancing out. Whichever way you need to go. You got this. Should be about one more. So balance each side and when you're done, you can take a break. And if you're faking it, that's fine too. <laughs> it's listening to your body, keeping that heat. Keep going. Last one for me. We got this. Nice work. Whew. That was a half hour, guys, which means it is time to start cooling down. So to start off with, find your dog again. Hands down in front, toes tucked, lift those hips. Feel that tail balance nicely in the middle. Breathe here. Let that neck go, just start to breathe. Notice how different your body feels. Lift up one foot. And just flex those toes like we did earlier with the tabletop. Now we're going to be doing it just like this. Lift and pump to the music. Keep your head down. Look towards your feet. And if you need to go to tabletop, go to tabletop here. For 10 more, you got this. Plant. Again, if you need to go to child's pose, go. Or start cooling down in your down dog. And when you're ready, other leg, other side. Lift, flex your foot, and pump. You got this. Squeeze them buns, work those glutes. Let's go, let's go. Breathe. Keep your neck loose, no pain. Make sure there's a bend in that lifting foot. <laughs> and move your tail when you need to. And when you're done, come back down, cooling down in either your down dog or child's pose. We're gonna go back to dog one more time after this. All right. Go back into your dog. And we're going to do wild thing. This is a flip, and if it's not available, feel free to do any other movements you need. For an option, you can lift up one leg and just try to kick your butt. That's enough. Or you can try to tilt your hip and just lift it up. So your leg's like this. Or if you're with me, you shift your weight onto the standing foot in the same arm, and you start to flip over. And it's okay to fall. It's really like a modified bridge. So you're letting your neck down. Both feet are on the ground here. This is wild thing. And then safely try to break dance your way back over into your dog and breathe. For the other side, lift your leg. You can stay here or you can bend it. <laughs> Still. Or you can open up your hips a little and this is enough. Or if you wanna go full wild thing, start to shift your weight onto the side of your standing foot, hand and foot, falling over, planting that floating foot, and do your back bend. Wild thing. Breathe. And then find your way back. This'll be your last down dog. Stay in it as long as you need. A 
and come down. We're gonna come down onto your bottom, whichever way works for you. From here, put your feet out in front of you. Run hard on these little legs. And just wiggle them around. Just wiggle them around. Maybe flop them one way or the other. And we're gonna start with our windshields. So bring both feet up and find a way to flop them side to side. Keep going. All right, good, we got plenty of time. And now, feet back one way. So you've got an angle with one foot and an angle with the other. We're gonna do some narwhal stretches because we absolutely love <laughs> Hyun Su and the Nar Heart Unicorns. We're gonna do a mermaid pose. So look up towards the front knee that's bent. Hold in here, <laughs> breathe. And if you want, you can do some dips. So dipping into that front leg. <sighs> Cooling down, thanking your body for that hard work, picking up all that trash. And if you want here, you can start to lift your hips a little. So either lift the hips as you're going forward, or you can lift your hips as you're going backwards. So it's like another wild thing on the floor this time. Do what you need to cool down. You can stay or you can flow with the music still. And when you're ready, flip over so the other knee is facing out. You've got your knees bent together. Hold here, turning your hips and your chest towards that front knee for a moment and breathe. And then welcome in that mermaid, that narwhal, the beautiful Korean unicorn of the sea. Finding the stretch that you need. And maybe start to lift those hips. You got this. All right. Come back on and do any last movements that you want for your legs. We're gonna do a standing pose next. So shake it out. And if you're ready, we're gonna do tree because of course, one of the raccoons, tongue depressor, did tree yoga. If you need a chair or a wall, find that from standing. Lift up one leg, maybe just kick standing it here. You can place it on your lower leg or your upper leg, but don't place it on your knee. Keep the standing knee bent. And again, you can hold on to anything you need. Find a place for your hands and breathe, keeping that standing knee bent. Take any modifications you'd like here. If you're more bendy, you can go into a more bendy pose. You can raise your hands for additional challenge. For even more additional challenge, try closing your eyes, keeping that standing knee bent, or maybe invite a little movement into your tree. Like you had to do as we were getting ready to defend the Twin Beaks. And then slowly find your way down, shake out that standing foot. And then switch over. Again, maybe kick standing your foot here, placing it on your lower leg, or finding a place tucked in, keeping those hips wide and open, standing knee bent. And find a different position for your arms now. For example, I'm gonna do a backwards prayer to open my chest. like this. Let's see if I can very slowly turn around. <laughs> there you go. Keep that standing knee bent, breathing. Again, maybe raising your hands here. 
maybe closing your eyes or finding some movement just to challenge yourself one little bit burn left and relax and then gently find your way down shaking that standing leg out maybe doing some of those slow motion movements we did before kicking up kicking back maybe even just a little bit more of a forward fold here that might feel really good just to let your neck and your body go keep those knees nice and bent now give yourself some generous room i'm going to do a wide legged fold and just go from side to side to make sure i really get these leg warmers and these legs cooled down There we go. And then other side, walk your hands over. Head loose. Any other stretches you need while standing, we're gonna go back down again. So from here, you can go into, either you can come up and go through a salutation. I'm gonna do a lift with my core one more time. Keeping my knees a little wider, inhale up and exhale down into a yogi squat. And you notice I can use my tail as a pillow. Or you can have yourself a block, a paper towel roll, a book. If you need it, you can sit on that. We're going to stay here for just a moment. Holding that yogi squat. Shoulders should be back. Heels can go down if it works for you. Breathing here. You got this. Find the squat that works for you. Maybe take a couple deep breaths. Exhaling through the mouth to start to cool down. And when you need to, you can plant your hands and lower down. Find your way back to the floor. And if you haven't gotten your strap yet, grab a strap. We're gonna lower ourselves down, do some leg stretches like we started off with. So you've got your strap. Again, maybe when you're laying down here, you again wanna do those windshield wipers like we started with. Pull those knees in, breathe. And then take your strap one foot at a time and just stretch it out. Breathing. Your knee should, I mean, it can be bent or it can be straight here, but just make sure it's comfortable for you. Don't overstretch and breathe. If you want, you can turn your head from side to side here. Roll those shoulders back, pull them down. Maybe that's when you need to do a little bit of your knee. Maybe do one hand. And we're gonna do our twists from here. So you may need to loop that strap around your foot, or you can do it without. Take it and switch the strap to the opposite arm of the foot that's up and start to gently guide that leg over into a strap supported twist. Keep the shoulder blades down here and maybe look the opposite direction of your foot. Breathing. And you'll notice there's a difference if you straighten or bend your upper leg and your lower leg. So play around and find the stretch that works for you. And again, you're always welcome to stay here if this is what you really need. If you're with me, start to lift, guiding your strap, and we're going to go open here. So you're opening your leg to the other side. Go as far as you want or need. You can bend your knee here again if you need to. Find that stretch that works for you. Again, maybe looking to the other side. Opening your hips here and stretching that leg. And then guide it back up. 
pull the knee in, take off the strap, hug both of your knees in. Maybe roll your ankles here. One more hug and then we're gonna switch to the other side. You may notice it feels different on this side. You may need a more generous bend or you may need the strap in a different position. You can do what you need here. I'll stay here for just a moment. Finding the stretch that calls to you. And then switching the strap to the opposite arm, begin to guide your leg into the twist. Remember to keep your shoulders down here. Maybe finding a bend in your knees. It may be different on this side. Again, you can stay here if you need. Or you come with me back up. Switching hands and open up. Finding what position your feet need to be in to get a good stretch on the other side. Again, no pain. Cool them down here. <sighs> All right, pull it back up and then tuck it in, take off that. Um, and you have an option here. We're going into bridge, so if you do have an adjustable strap, you can actually tie your legs up like we did in our strap workshop, again, which is on YouTube. Pretty much, you take your strap, you make a loop out of it, and then you, <laughs> you wrap yourself up. So you put your feet through and tighten up. Have your block nearby too. Don't, don't tie yourself up before you do that. So now I've got this strap across my legs. We're going to go into bridge for our last big stretch before we're done. <sighs> so for that, you've got your strap around your legs or not. You don't have to. You can have one block or two. If you don't do the strap, you can put a block between your legs to keep them together. By doing this, it takes a little less pressure on your muscles from your legs and you can really relax into the back, which is what we're gonna do with the block. A block, towel, a paper towel, um, pillow, blanket. If you have something and it feels good to you, you're gonna thrum down with your legs together or with the block. Lift those hips and put the block with its lowest setting underneath your back around your tailbone without squishing your tail. <laughs> And just find a place in the center that feels good for you to let completely go. So your feet are flat. Your feet are flat here. Your hands can be up or down. The block is underneath you so that you are able to completely relax those abs, those glutes, those quads, those shoulders, back, everything. Just let it go. We're going to hold this for a couple minutes. Just uh, one minute of stillness and then we're, well actually why don't we do the movement first. So take your arms, raise them up. And if you can, go all the way back. So just releasing those shoulders. Very similar to what we did in the beginning. To your breath. So exhale as your hands go down and inhale going up. Maybe staying with the music. It should be slowing down now if you're playing them in order. If not, you may want to go back to your playlist after this before Savasana. So I do have a nice song for that. Take any other movements you need here. Maybe do a little banana arms one way and then the other. And then find where your arms want to be for that moment of stillness. So I'm going to do the cactus arms. You could do a T arms, you could do a diamond, or you can have them down in front. Um, so find what you need here. And we're going to be here for about a minute.
All right, and you can stay here if you want. This actually is super relaxing for me, so I would stay here if I wanted to go into Savasana. If not, gently find a way to take that block out from underneath you and just stay for a moment of stillness, feeling the difference in your hips and your back with the stableness of the ground underneath you and breathe. I'm gonna do my head side to side because that feels good too. If you want here, you can take that strap and go lower it and make yourself a nice assisted butterfly. So now my feet are tied together and I'm just gonna lower and make that diamond with my hips. Let them flop open and the strap is holding them together. You can also do this with a blanket. You can wrap a blanket around your feet here and maybe this is where you choose your savasana, your rest. I'll stay here for about 30 seconds. Again, if you want to stay in that diamond, you are welcome to. We are now going to go into our final relaxation, Savasana. If your playlist is not there yet and you want to follow along, go in and find Relax. Find, relax, and we'll all hit play together. Ready? And hit play. So find yourself into your savasana, lowering down, finding that final pose that you need. Arms down, shoulders back, feet open, palms up to gain energy or down to ground, maybe making a diamond or anything else that you need for your savasana. Close your eyes, start to relax. Notice your breathing. It you should have slowed down a little by now. If there's any last tightness, whether it's in your glutes, your ankles, let that go now. And as we go through our savasana, if you notice any thoughts, just acknowledge them and let them float away. Relax into the music and I'll call you out when we're ready to go.
and you're welcome to stay here as long as you want. If your playlist is going, you should be going into Oceans of Love. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Find gentle movements in your wrists and ankles. Your arms and legs, just give them a little wiggle and see how they feel after that burn from cardio corner. Maybe inhale and take a big stretch like you've just woken up. And we're gonna roll over to one side, coming into the fetal position. So curled up in a ball, laying down. Maybe hugging your tail in. It's nice and cozy. Stay there for a moment and I just want to mention that if you didn't attend our pop culture talk zone, which is available on another YouTube, I will link here. Kipo has a ton of different creatures and part of the magic of the show is that while they're all different, they can all come together under that banner, friendship, loyalty, maintaining their individuality and yet knowing that they're part of something bigger. You are part of that too. You have your groups that you identify with, whether that's trash raccoons or bronies or whatever it is that you like. Know that you are valued for what you bring. Know that you are yourself. You should always be yourself. And know that you are loved. And as you're ready, start to come up into a seated position. Rolling those shoulders back. Doing any last neck movements you need. Maybe inhale up and stretch one way and the other one more time. Just oof, feeling how much work you did. Shoulders back and down. Again, take any last movements that you need. And while we didn't start with an intention, we can end with one. So take your arms up on an inhale. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Take a moment here to think about what intention you would like for the remainder of your day as we close Smooth Stream. And I thank you all for being part of Smooth Stream as I was. What is it that you want for the remainder of your day, weekend, week? Find what you need here. and commit to it. We'll do that with two breaths. Inhale and let it go. And one big inhale and let everything go. And then take your thumbs up to your forehead. The light, the love, the teacher, and the unique person or beast that is me honors the light, the love, the student, and the unique beast in all of you. Thank you for being here for Kipo Yoga Aerobics, and Namaste. Thank you all again for being here, for putting up with us something crazy, long, tough. Drink lots of water after you go from here. Again, thank you for being a part of Smooth Stream, and stay tuned because I will be at Furthermore in two weeks doing much slower and i would love to see in the comments below give me that like give me that follow tell me what you think do you like yoga aerobics and the faster stuff that we've been doing like staff yoga or do you prefer the slower stuff because i'll tell you i know what i prefer but i'd love to do what you like as well so thank you again for being here and this was super fun so i've had a blast 
This is Riffing Designs of oh, Riffing Designs signing out on behalf of Smooth Stream, Nova Rose, Kermit the Grog, and Jer keeping friendship magic. It has been absolutely super fun, and I thank you all for being here today. Go out and have fun.